This is a fantastic plane. It's based on the Stanley number 62 plane, which is a classic old plane. Now, low angle has many advantages. The attack of the blade on the wood is so much low, lower and finer that you get a very smooth cut and it doesn't chip the grain. If you've got a bit of cranky grain, which you all know about cranky grain, you've come across it, it's a pain. A low angle plane will help that. It'll smooth those little discrepancies out and that's what you want. Here's a Lubin low angle plane based on the old Stanley number 62, fresh out of the box. Let's see what it's like. Here we are, fresh out of the box. Lubin plane. Slide the plane out of its plastic bag. And there it is. Wow, look at that. I'm really glad you can join me for this because this is fantastic. Fresh out of the box and we've just cleaned the sole. And now it's a good idea just to check the screws with a screwdriver, the, the right size for the slot, of course. Just make sure that they're nice and firm. Um, give them a little tighten, squeeze. Perfect. And then we're going to loosen off the, lever, the cap and we're going to pop the blade out. And here is the blade. It's a very solid, chunky blade. There's a fair bit of machine oil here. So again, we'll just clean that up with some paper towel and just a little bit of, just a little bit of lighter fluid to remove the oil. Pop that down there. There's also a fair bit of oil on the frog. Now, the beauty about the low angle plane is that the frog, and you can see the machine marks on that frog, that's all cast in as part of the plane sole, part of the body, and there's no adjustment required, which is pretty sweet. Here's the plane blade, fresh out of the plane, fresh out of the box. And you can see how beautifully machined that ground edge is on the blade, perfect angle, very, very flat looking to me. The bottom of the plane is also very flat and very nicely machined. And you can see how even and smooth that is. It is actually quite sharp, but I'm going to give it a little hone just to make sure that there's no excess uh, machine grinding sort of shards on the edge of the blade and it'll be ready to cut. In just less than a couple of minutes, we've honed this blade and we've just sort of checked the, the uh, ability of the blade to be flat on the back, which is important, that's what you want, nice flat surface on the back of the blade. And we've just polished the edge, we haven't changed the angle. Yes, you can add a secondary bevel if you wish. Um, I, I like this low angle and I just like to dress up the bevel that already exists. So um, we're not changing the bevel angle, we're just honing to the same bevel angle. You, you can do either or, it doesn't really matter, as long as you end up with a nice sharp blade and this one is now nice and sharp. So now we can assemble it back in the plane and being careful not to ding that nice <laughs> freshly honed edge that we've just developed. The only thing to make sure of is the bevel is facing up on these low angle planes. So we we'll just drop it in there, get it in position, put the lever cap on. This lever cap has an adjusting screw rather than a lever. That uh, works beautifully. So we we'll just tighten that down. We've just honed the blade 
and set it in position. So we've used the lateral adjustment lever and we've got the blade looking even across the face of the sole of the plane. And we've just adjusted it so it, with a very low angle so that you've got a mirror surface, you can just see a little black hairline. That means your plane blade is just protruding the right amount. And then we looked at, what we need to look at is there's no adjustable frog, so how do you make the mouth of this plane finely adjusted for, for taking very fine shavings? Well, it's easy. You notice there's this big brass piece and it's an adjustment cam for the whole sole of the plane in this front nose area. And what you do is loosen this knob and then slide this lever and look what happens. The whole sole of the plane at the front opens up. So, and I don't know if you can see that, but now we've got a very large opening and then you can just creep it close to the blade, half to one millimeter for fine work and lock it back off. So that feature is something that's on all the low angle block planes and especially this low angle jack plane. Let me show you what it does. Smooth as silk. Trust me, this is a beautiful plane. That is running sweet as. And literally, fresh out of the box. I mean, you couldn't ask for more. What a beautiful piece of equipment. I'm very impressed. You could throw all your planes away and just buy this one Lubin low angle jack plane based on the Stanley number 62 and you would be set for the rest of your life. <laughs> Great plane. So this plane, it's fairly long and you'd be thinking, well, gee, it better be straight. Here's a nice straight edge and that is dead straight. I'm just off the edge because the blade is actually protruding so I'm just checking the outside edges but man spot on. So finally I would like to just point out to you that the handles on this Lubin low angle jack plane is they're absolutely beautifully shaped comfortable really really comfortable that's a fantastic comfortable grip. You could plane just about all day with that. That's, um, I can't say how nice that is. That's one very good feature about these planes is that beautifully shaped and sculptured handle. It's important and a lot of planes on the market don't have a very nice handle. Lubin is an exception. So the Lubin low angle jack plane is available for you to purchase right now. And you should get yourself one if you're in the market for a good plane, because trust me, these are very good planes and it won't break the bank. You can buy yourself one by going online to timbercon.com.au or you can call into their Melbourne shop. If you're in Perth, you can go to the shop in Perth. Thank you very much for watching. Can't even open it. No. <laughs> What's going on here? We should have rehearsed that. Okay, here we go. Is it still running? Yeah, I'm just gonna oh, keep all this is gold. <laughs> <laughs> it's for the okay. blooper reel. Okay. <laughs>